What if I told you there's a star so massive that it could fit 1.2 billion suns within its volume? A true giant, far larger than our own sun, with a brightness that constantly fluctuates and a shape that seems to twist and turn in a cosmic dance. This star, Betelgeuse, is teetering on the edge of a dramatic finale, a supernova of unimaginable proportions. Located just 640 light years away, it's one of the brightest stars we can see. But when will Betelgeuse explode? What mysteries lie behind its erratic behavior? Could we soon witness a colossal supernova lighting up our sky? And should we be concerned about the potential impact? Betelgeuse, also called Alpha Orionis, is a red supergiant star situated in the Orion constellation. It stands out as one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye and marks the top left shoulder of the hunter figure in Orion. Located around 642 light years from Earth, Betelgeuse is considered relatively close in astronomical terms. Its sheer size is staggering. If Betelgeuse were positioned at the center of our solar system, its outer surface would stretch beyond Jupiter's orbit, swallowing Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and possibly the asteroid belt. This star boasts a radius about 1,400 times that of the Sun and has roughly 20 times its mass. However, due to its enormous volume, its density is significantly lower. Betelgeuse belongs to a group of stars known as supergiants, which are some of the most massive and brightest in the universe. These stars have relatively short lifespans, rapidly consuming their nuclear fuel. Betelgeuse is estimated to be between 8 and 10 million years old, making it fairly young by stellar standards. However, it's already approaching the end of its life. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse has used up the hydrogen in its core and is now fusing heavier elements, causing it to expand and cool, giving it its distinct red hue. This final phase is brief in cosmic terms, lasting only a few million years before the star's spectacular end. Betelgeuse has undergone dramatic changes throughout its life. It began as a hot, blue giant, burning hydrogen at its core. Once the hydrogen was exhausted, the core contracted and heated, triggering helium fusion. This process caused the star's outer layers to expand and cool, turning it into the red supergiant we see today. The powerful fusion reactions in Betelgeuse's core are generating elements like carbon, oxygen, and eventually heavier ones like silicon and iron. When enough iron builds up in the core, it signals the end of fusion, as iron fusion requires more energy than it produces, leading to the star's inevitable collapse. In late 2019, Betelgeuse began to display unusual behavior, with astronomers observing a significant dimming of the star that persisted into early 2020. The star's brightness decreased to around 40% of its normal level, making it much fainter to the naked eye. This dramatic change triggered a surge of scientific inquiry and public speculation, with many wondering if Betelgeuse was on the brink of going supernova. Although the dimming was atypical, it didn't necessarily indicate an imminent supernova. Scientists proposed various explanations for the dimming, including the possibility of massive ejections of gas and dust from the star surface or the presence of large star spots, similar to the sunspots seen on our sun, but on a much larger scale. One of the most intriguing explanations came from observations with the Very Large Telescope in Chile. These observations proposed that the dimming of Betelgeuse was due to a massive cloud of dust expelled from the star's surface. From Earth's perspective, this dust cloud obstructed a substantial portion of the star's light, resulting in the observed dimming. Now, Betelgeuse is back in the spotlight as recent observations show it dimming again. This renewed dimming has sparked fresh discussions and research into the star's behavior. The recurring dimming events suggest that Betelgeuse might be undergoing significant convective activity in its outer layers, which could be responsible for these fluctuations in brightness. These dimming episodes offer a unique chance to investigate the processes taking place in the outer layers of a red supergiant. Researchers are utilizing a range of tools from ground-based telescopes to space observatories, to monitor Betelgeuse and collect data to uncover the secrets of its behavior. Betelgeuse has been observed for centuries, with its brightness fluctuations recorded by numerous cultures. Ancient astronomers, such as the Greeks and Arabic scholars, documented Betelgeuse and its prominent position in the sky. The name Betelgeuse itself has Arabic origins derived from Yad al-Jaza, which translates to the Hand of Orion. In literature and mythology, Betelgeuse has captivated imaginations and inspired many. It features in science fiction, notably in Douglas Adams' The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, where it serves as the home star of the Betelgeusians. Its striking presence in the night sky has turned it into a symbol of enigma and might.
The big question now is, when will Beetlejuice go supernova? Pinpointing the exact timing is notoriously difficult. It might happen tomorrow, or it could be another 100,000 years before Beetlejuice reaches the end of its life. What is certain is that, as a red supergiant, Beetlejuice is approaching the final stages of its stellar evolution. When Beetlejuice does go supernova, it will be a spectacular event. The explosion will be so bright that it will be visible during the day for weeks, possibly even months. It will outshine the full moon and be visible to the naked eye from Earth. This supernova will release an immense amount of energy, briefly outshining the entire galaxy before fading away. The process of a supernova is a complex and violent event. It begins with the core collapse, which happens in a fraction of a second. The outer layers of the star fall inward at speeds of up to 43,000 meters per second, generating a shockwave that propagates outward. This shockwave heats the surrounding material, causing it to glow brightly and creating the supernova's characteristic light curve. From Earth, astronomers will have a rare chance to observe a supernova in real time, offering valuable insights into the processes of stellar evolution and demise. For amateur astronomers and sky enthusiasts, this event could provide a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle, assuming it occurs within our lifetime. Although we can't pinpoint exactly when Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova, astronomers are poised to monitor and analyze the event when it does. Advanced telescopes and observatories worldwide are prepared to collect data across various wavelengths, from visible light to gamma rays. Efforts are underway to educate and engage the public when the supernova event occurs. Agencies such as NASA and the European Space Agency plan to provide real-time updates and observations, turning this into a global event that will captivate and unite people. Thanks to technological advancements, our ability to study stars like Betelgeuse has greatly improved. With instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope, the Very Large Telescope, and the James Webb Space Telescope, we can expect to see unprecedented views of these distant giants. Should Betelgeuse explode soon? The images captured by these telescopes will be truly astounding. At present, these telescopes enable scientists to study Betelgeuse's light with remarkable precision, uncovering details about its composition, surface activity, and internal processes. Upcoming space missions and observatories will enhance our comprehension of red supergiants and supernovae. Initiatives such as the Vera C. Rubin Observatory and the European Extremely Large Telescope are set to make revolutionary discoveries potentially offering new perspectives on stellar life cycles and the mechanics of supernova explosions. You might be wondering if Earth is in any danger if Betelgeuse explodes. When Betelgeuse eventually goes supernova, it will indeed be a spectacular event for observers on Earth. However, the light from this explosion will take about 642 years to reach us, meaning we'll see an event that happened centuries earlier. The supernova will be bright enough to be visible during the day and will cast shadows at night. This also means that Betelgeuse might have already exploded, but we haven't seen it yet. But don't worry, despite the dramatic display, Betelgeuse's supernova won't threaten Earth. The explosion will be too far away to affect us, providing a unique chance to study the aftermath of a supernova up close. Betelgeuse, the colossal red supergiant, continues to fascinate us with its immense size, brilliance, and unpredictable activity. Its recent dimming episodes serve as a reminder of the universe's dynamic and ever-evolving nature. While we can't pinpoint exactly when Betelgeuse will explode into a supernova, we do know that when it does, it will be a spectacle of unmatched brilliance and scientific significance. So, keep watching the night sky, because with each flicker of Betelgeuse, we're inching closer to witnessing one of the cosmos' most breathtaking events. Until then... We'll keep admiring this massive star and the secrets it holds. Thank you for turning in to another episode of Hidden Secrets. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell to stay updated with more exciting content. See you in the next episode.